thank you, thank you, thank you, Love Source God, for uh, my channeling these readings for my brothers and sisters of humanity. I'm so grateful because I love being able to watch my brothers and sisters benefit themselves, live their highest, lightest, and brightest good, and be in full awareness of themselves. So in promoting those things, the general overall energy at this time in their life is, today I'm recording January 16th, 2017. So let's see this one. We have the Hanged Man. The Hanged Man is a beautiful card because it's a card that speaks to greater self-awareness, those very things I was just speaking about. It's about a pause in life for a purpose. So if you've been feeling like things have been at a pause in life, there is a grand purpose for it. Understanding that things come together according to perfect timing and so all parties must be ready for all things and your job at this time is to get yourself ready for these things and part of that is embracing who and what you are becoming more familiar with that which you are and gaining mastery over your that what you are so that you can be able to accomplish the things on your heart and experience some of it when I say accomplish is more of a feeling of com completed not necessarily completed what do I want to say what is the right word that is on my mind may it flow from my lips accurately so it's about having the time to see things in another light see things from another perspective like I'm not seeing this right there's something here that I'm missing and sometimes many times many some of us have become aware but many are still unaware of this type of energy and how it works. Although you didn't consciously choose to be in a hold, hold, pause, wait, you are because your higher self knew that it was best for you. Love Source God knew that this is where you're gonna see what you wanna see, learn what you wanna learn, do what you wanna do, so that you can go in the direction that's on your heart. So right now, the energy that's strong for you is the devil energy. And the devil energy being strong for you right now lets me know that you're dealing with some um, limiting thoughts, limiting beliefs, um, and you're being forced to confront them for some of you. For others of you, you've been confronting them and so you've been seeing uh, new progress in your life, but it seems like you can only go so far, so far, so far. And, and so you're not quite understanding why that is. For some of you, uh, you're going back to a situation that you thought you were finished with, but for some reason, the, there's a strong compelling to go back to it. And so you are. And you can fill in the blanks when I'm general and vague. I do that purposefully because you're all living a different story. And my intention is that the messages resonate for all of you, regardless of the story you're living. So in four weeks' time, the way this energy is sh shifting is to the King of Pentacles. So this is awesome. Because here it's saying, you know what, you've, you've mastered that. You did it. The pause was with the purpose, like I started. And so you achieved the purpose. You realized the purpose. And in your realization of the purpose, you're able to move forward. 
you release yourself from this current energy that you're dealing with. One of the influencing factor um, for some of you, it could be as simple as a, a legal situation that allows its culmination, a fair judgment on your behalf, allows you to move forward from a situation into new opportunities, new choices to make, new love, new unions, new partnerships. Also, this is about you having discerned from this situation your truth, holding on to it, and welcoming anything to come forward because you know your truth and you've come to those decisions and you stand by them you sit by them uh, and you know that those were guided and you know it's for your highest lightest and brightest good and th there's no other way that it could be because it's that kind of knowing like you know that you're a, a male or a female <laughs> type of knowing you don't ever question that we don't ever question that we know what we are or some of you might be uh, something else. As a matter of fact, there are others out there. And so uh, we have here, though, somebody who's staying to their truth and having discovered it through this current situation. Because this is a current situation. This is how it's going to look in four weeks. This is what affects it, the someone or something. So for some of you, it's a Libra person, a Gemini person, or an Aquarius person, most likely a female. Who has something to share with you that helps you see the new perspective helps make you aware of something that in a new way that causes an inner epiphany which all epiphanies are inner so there's that the outcome being the lovers is letting us know that this is a definite beautiful outcome number one it's there's harmony there's synchronicity there's love there's passion and there's guidance and it's embraced by the universe it's something that the universe is pushing these two people together i see for somebody out there that you are currently saying goodbye to an old relationship whether you're actually physically still together or not is different for all of you but i feel like the majority of you have already left this relationship and but this relationship keeps coming up in your mind but you're going to meet somebody new between now and four weeks out and uh, you're going to be a little bit on the defensive, but you will welcome the conversation, the interaction, and the getting to know. And and if if this is your story, it looks like that relationship is really going to go to a very beautiful divine union. Especially with the Empress down here, fertility is a possibility. So, uh, you know, if you're not interested in parenting children and loving them and teaching them all about that and teaching them how to... Uh, embrace themselves and become fully functional highly evolved adults then maybe you should be careful about that okay um, so during this time you want to really just go inside yourself and follow your inner guidance because if you do it's going to help you to overcome whatever this situation has been. Some of you, it involves a Capricorn. The situation has outgrown its good. You're ready to confront it. It's been binding you for long enough. You're ready to let it go. And um, you're going to be feeling like, I've truly done myself a justice. I really now am the master of my material world. Now that I've 
may come through the shift. I remember when things were that way and now look at how beautiful it is. And you're going to use your words in a way that lends itself towards your solutions. It's going to cut out all the bullshit. It's going to focus on what is true and it's going to help you um, receive this lovers here at the end. And that lovers may come for some of you, like I mentioned, in a positive judgment, a romantic relationship. Um, for some of you, it could actually be a business decision that you've made that allows for greater abundance and prosperity. Either way, abundance and prosperity is blessing this. I didn't even pull a words of clarity. I got so focused on that hangman in the middle there. Let's see, what is the word of clarity for Pisces in regards to this hangman? Okay, so split it, I was, okay. We have the yin yang, okay. And at the base we have the wanting, and I was gonna flip it upright, but then the feeling, the left source let me know, leave it the way it is. So, balance is extremely important. Also, I think of the symbol of Pisces with this. So, very strongly, like, focusing on what is your truth, embracing it, being able to receive it, because you have wanting in reverse here, and you have creative ab abundance here. And... I just see a really beautiful, positive outcome for you. Do the work. Don't be afraid of the work that you're at. You might feel like you're in a, uh, what they call a dark soul of the night. You may feel like you've been going through some things. And you know what? As you come out of this, you're going to be feeling real good, honey. You're going to have new balance. And as a fish, it's so important for you to stay balanced. Because if not, you, you will overdose yourself on these ideas that you're able to play out. In, in your head, if you don't take this woman and, and stick to the truths, then you start playing, you, you flip her upside down and start playing with all these crazy ideas. And then now this matches that and now you're wanting. Anyhow, love, peace and happiness to you and yours. I would love to read for you personally. If you would like a personal reading, a words of clarity deck, or if you would like to find out how you can order my own publication, uh, Nail Artistry, Everyday Nail Art. It's a beautiful collection of art, nail art in particular. And so thank you for your support. And I appreciate you so much. Love, peace, and happiness to you and yours. And of course, me and mine. Until next time.